Hey guys, welcome back to another show of Yummy Tubbies. Today we'll be making some Yummy Nummies s'mores. Everyone's been asking us to make the s'mores, so here we are going to make the s'mores. And I've been waiting and waiting to make these, and it's a fun DIY to do with your friends. Um, and now let's get started. So for this DIY, you'll be needing a cup of water, and it comes with a few of these mixes, um, two of the spoon things. I don't know what this. I don't know what that one is. It's like a square, and it comes with one clean tray, and this one like fire pit glow in the dark light up thingy, and some instructions. And let, let's start with this DIY. And first, get your graham cracker mix. And I accidentally put mine in a baggie. I don't, I don't know if you needed to do that. Then pour it in to the four little squares that you see on your tray. I, and try to make them as even as you can. Put them on your little white tray, the four little tiny graham cracker shaped squares. And putting them in. And you'll, and it comes with two packets of these graham cracker mixes, and it says that you can actually make ten of them. Depends how big it is. If you make them like really graham crackery, you'll probably make it at three or something. And now, after you put that graham cracker in, mix in, you get this little like one of these spoon things. They're the same size. I'm gonna take the more spoony one, and then you put one spoon of them in each graham cracker whole thing. So I'm doing that. And stir it all. I'm stirring mine, and once you stir it once, put a little bit more graham cracker mix in until it fills up to the first line that you see. I open my second pack, and I'm starting to pour some more in. Uh-oh. Okay, I have no idea why I just said that, but I kind of did. I have a little tray, this tray that I'm putting my extra stuff on. I'm gonna pour some of this, put my extra mess on it. So I did that, I'm gonna put some more water in. This time put a little bit. Cause you don't want it too soggy. The other time, um, when I tested this out yesterday, it got very soggy. So, I don't want it too soggy. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of water in it. And it might be a little sticky. So I'm just gonna try to use my hands because it will stick onto the spoon. Even if you barely put any water in, it will still stick. That's the bummer part. We really don't want it to be sticky. And so I did my graham crackery stuff. And it says to go put it in the microwave. So I'll be right back. So I put that in for about 15 seconds. It says to put it in for about 15 seconds. And then, um, it says you can do your chocolate mix first or your marshmallow one and um, pour it into those and I'll be right back. So I did that. Once you do your marshmallow mixes, you'll have to put it in again. So I'm going to see how it turned out. It turned out kind of good. Yeah. And now I'm going to open my chocolate mix. I just love chocolate. 
So I'm gonna do that first. And if you want, you can use scissors, but I'm good at opening things, so I really don't think I need some scissors. So, okay, I got it open. It's a little hard, but I got it. I'm a big one. I can handle everything. So I did that. It says to put them in number one or two. Um, no, to put it in three or four. And I'm gonna put mine, it doesn't really matter because they're the same sizes. I'm gonna put the chocolate one in number three. So I did that. One. And do about a few. I'm gonna do about four spoons and you use the spoony one. And now after you did that, get some more water. Pour it in like usual. Do about four or maybe five and I'm gonna go get it originally spoon. And I got it like real spoon. I'm gonna mix that till it turns. You should mix it till it turns actually like chocolatey. Like hot cocoa -y. That's good. And I'm just gonna put some more chocolate in. Um, just because I want it really chocolatey. Because I love chocolate. My sister hates it. I just don't know what the point is with that. So I'm gonna keep stirring mine. And it's a little. Yeah. If you put more in, you should get another, like, two spoons more of water. So I did two more spoons of water. You should keep pouring it in about three times. I'm doing mine three so far, because I don't know if you do four. I just learned the directions three. So I'm doing three. But if it doesn't work, please do four, because then it will really work. Wow, this is actually turning pretty nice. Look at that, chocolate. So I did that. Now it's time for the marshmallow mix. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Marshmallow clap. And now I'm opening my marshmallow mix. You should like do this before you open it because then if you open it before doing that, and it's so much is on that side, it could actually spill almost everywhere. If you need to, just get part of your shirt, attach it on, and then just use it. Or you can use your teeth. That I can use my teeth. So I did that. It's starting to smell kind of good and nice. And I'm still trying to the marshmallow is kind of sticky, so it kind of sticks together. I'm going to take part of this thing. I'm glad it comes with this thing. Kind of like dig it in. Try to like open it up. Oh, look. Nice. It worked. Awesome, the baby. Actually, no, it didn't. Only the wax part went off. And I'm still, this is actually kind of hard. I'm gonna go get some scissors. I got some scissors and I opened it up. I'm glad I did that. And now I'm going to pour my marshmallow like t into my nether little circle. So I poured some of that in. And I'm going to put a little bit more in so it evens out with the chocolate. 
But it kind of smells like candy. I could eat it. Sugary. One spoon. Two spoons. And you should do two spoons. And now I'm going to be stirring it. I'll put chocolatey because a little bit of chocolate I accidentally spilled in. Oh no, that's my chocolate mix. I'm going to pour some more my marshmallow mix in. Get some more water. Excuse me. Get some more water. Pour it in. Get your spoon. Stir it all up. Oh, that's looking nice. You should have it even up with the chocolate so they actually, actually go together. Because you don't like chocolate marshmallow. You should have chocolate marshmallow. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm still stirring it. It's looking kind of white, really. Like, pretty white. I mean, I've never seen anything this white. And good. So I did that. And then put it in the microwave for like 10 seconds. For about 10 seconds. Ding, 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 ding. Zoo. So I put it in for 10 seconds. Look at that. Whoa. Now it says to get the graham crackers out. Whoa, that kind of turned out pretty good. And they're kind of hot, too. I figured they would be hot. Kind of like squishy. That's a good say sign. Squishy means awesome. Now get your little spoon. And it says to get this spoon, it scoops out. Or get a big spoon, scoop some chocolate out. Put it on your little s'more graham cracker. And it, so far I made four. So I'm gonna put them on four. And they are kind of hot. So better watch out for that. Don't wanna burn yourself, that'll be bad. Joop. So I did two. Time for my third. I did three. Time for my fourth. I wish I had no sisters. That would be nice. Except for my baby sister. She's napping. She's so cute. So I did it on my four chocolates. No. It says to get your small little square spoon and do the marshmallow. The marshmallow is kind of sticky, squishy, and nice. Now you see, huh? Did one. Oh my gosh. Did two. Did three. Wow, these are actually turning out good. And did four. Now, get your tray thing. Put your little s'more on it. See this fire thing? Stick it in just like on the bottom one. Like that. And it's going to start heating up. Here. 
heating up, and then that's what makes it kind of stick together. Right? They actually taste pretty good. And you should have some leftover chocolate. That told me a lot so I can eat it. This one's done. Put them in for like 30 seconds. in I did my other s'more and they kind of turn out a little small my third And my fourth. And they taste very delicious. 20, 21, 20, 20, 20, 20. Okay, and this, this last one is done. Ready for the taste test? Time to taste. Mmm, these turned out great. Very good. It says you, you can make 10 with all the mixes. For this one, I made four. Like there a tiny little s'more? Make that look awesome, yeah. I'm gonna save my life for my sister. Um, and I'm going to give this one to my sister. <laughs> can I talk? I can't really keep it up. Yeah. <laughs> I got so I was painting, so I can't. <laughs> um. Can I tell you what I think? What? <laughs> the graham cracker is really chewy. Yeah, I know. I put it in the microwave for about 15 seconds. That's good. Love you. Bye. Bye. And that is all for my video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Tap the bottom box below to subscribe. And write a comment if you would like me to do, um, like, this one is s'more. So if you would like me to do, like, another thing. Like, I did s'mores. So if you would like me to do soda, like, cupcakes, whatever. Write the comment below and... I hope you like it, and I hope you can like my video, and did I tell you to subscribe below? Um, bye!